Hey guys, and welcome to the latest episode of Bulucast. Uh, sorry again for being a day late. Like I said in the last video, uh, I was at the special in Lille over the weekend and only got home really late last night, so wasn't able to. Well, I probably was able to do a video then, but I was exhausted, so I just wasn't bothered to be honest. So, but yeah, I, at least I gave you guys warning. Um, so this video is going to be a bit different. Uh, I'm not probably not going to play any games in it. I'm just going to show you the list. I think there was three hundred and ten masters. I think I heard somewhere uh, at Lille. Uh, I may be completely wrong with that. Probably should have looked that up before I started this. But anyway. Uh, I played Metagross, this Metagross list, and I finished, can't remember exactly where, but I got top 64 with it, which is honestly like much better than I've ever done, and much better than I was expecting to do. Um, like I was, I was thinking of dropping after the first four rounds, I think it was, and then went and got food. And then, and then did really well. So, I I think it was just the hunger. Yeah, McDonald's saved my tournament. But anyway, so this is the list uh, that I used. Um, two Metagross and three Meta, uh, two Metang, excuse me, and three Rare Candy is something that uh, has been pointed out to me numerous times that there is a problem with and you know what there isn't a problem with it it works perfectly the only difference I th i'm pretty sure i did a video on metagross before i cannot cannot remember um but anyway i was playing it with a 1-1 trash lunch line and I decided to cut that and just put in two Kukui instead, which did actually come in useful a number of times uh, on the day. Other than that, I mean, algorithm is just insane when no one, no one judges you. I think I alg there was I algorithmed in like every game on the day, pretty much. No, literally every game. And only twice did someone use judge or let loose. And I was like, well, that's all right, because I'll just set everything else up in every other game. So, yeah, that was the list I used to get top 64 in the special. And then in the cup, the next day, I also finished in the top, within the top 64. Granted, there was. 64 people I think uh, and I finished 49th with it so like it's not great but it's Pukumuku this is the list I used and it is definitely not the most optimal list because as you can see here it's a 2 tree Alolan Sand Slash line and that is for the one simple reason that the vendor was also loud of a lowland sand shrews. I was like, really? Really? You're sold out of a lowland sand shrews? So put in a Vulpix instead. Uh, I continue, I kept prizing one of the sand shrews. So, like, so this is the list that I used. I said I probably won't play any games. I'm going to play a game with uh, this Pukumuku list. Not this one. I'm going to. I'm going to show you the list that I would have used and then play a game with it. So I would take out the Vulpix, uh, the Kukui. No, wait a second. Uh, yeah, Kukui. And there's one other thing. Oh, yeah, one of the judges. And then I would. Put in another two Sandshrews and one more 
slush rush uh, sand slash because that's fantastic to be fair I mean other than that like that's probably the best this list has ever been uh, someone did tell I mean first off spread just kills pukumuku especially because Evil Tall is weak to Lightning and Coco, which is a pain. Someone told me there was a, a, a Strafe Coco. I think it's in Lost Thunder, possibly. So, like, I'll put that in, because then... You don't know. I, I don't know. It could come useful. Like, I do like this uh, Deoxys, because it hits Buzzwall for weakness. And also spear dive for the snipe. The one thing I would do is I'd actually I'm gonna also cut two water and up the rainbow energy to four because just oblivion wing has been a a thing that I used a, a good bit surprisingly. So yeah, I mean. I suppose the best thing to do is just save it and I can like show it in action as it were because uh, I don't have anything else planned for this evening I was just going to talk about those two and then I realized there's like not much to talk about so let's just use it and show you guys exactly how it works Once we find an opponent, they won't be ready for this. Water, Psychic, Lightning, Colorless. What? Water, Psychic, Lightning, Colorless. I have no idea. Literally no idea. Uh, well, I suppose we'll find out in a minute. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get uh, some idea. Ah, Greninja. GX Glace. What's Glaceon? Uh, as long as this is your active Pokemon, opponents, Pokemon GX and EX in play, in hand and something else have no abilities I think but that's fine because we don't run EXs or GXs given that this is Puku Muku uh, yes that's fine oh no but it's spread ah our worst nightmare but at least we can use this Brooklyn tail because I I've learned from my mistake last time. What's Froakie's ability? No Richie cost. I mean, yeah, that doesn't matter. Well, I probably should have realized it was spread when I saw Greninja. I mean, that's the whole point of its ability, isn't it? So, yeah, this is going to be a tough game. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, a very difficult game. So... Ah, that's gonna make it even more difficult. Well, let's see. What do we get? It's not too bad. I suppose. Pretty much just Cynthia straight away. Obviously, try that crushing hammer and see what happens. Now we can see what the rest of it does. 90 and 30 snipe. And Polar Spirit GX is 50 for each damage counter. Oh, that's interesting. So, first off, we have a crushing hammer. For heads, that's good. It's a good start. Next we'll Brooklet Hill for P 
Puku Muku. Because we're going to strafe already. Uh, yes, that's fine. Well, we're going to teleportation burst straight off the bat. And Cynthia. For like all the energy. The bright side, I can spear dive next turn if that's what I want to do. Or I can continuous tumble. And all we need is three heads and we knock out Tapu Koko. Three heads is nothing. Hmm. And so it begins. On the bright side, I was thinking enhanced hammers probably don't matter. But they obviously do, because he obviously plays DCE for the Coco. Like I'm so Yeah, let's let's go for it. Oh no. Let's booklet hill first. For another Sancho. And then Cynthia. And then Evil Tall Acrobike. I will take Guzma. I will Ultra Ball away. Um, uh, also ball away the Guzma. Yeah, go on. And take a slush rush sand slash. It'd be great to slush rush into another slush rush sand slash. But no, that's fine. In that case, let's continue his tumble. For the knockout? No, not for, for nothing. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Actually, what we should do... Hmm... Because, I mean, he's going, to, he's going to do it again. So we need to get another Sand Slash. We need to get another Sand Slash. So that uh, this Sand Shrew doesn't get KO'd. If he gets Guzma... Like, that's fine by me. So I'm more than happy to let him waste Guzmas to, uh, ah, Cynthia. That's, yeah, that's fine. I'll probably judge him next turn anyway. But I'm always judging, really. That's not great. But I mean, it could be worse. I mean, well, yeah, ninety thirty snipe is not great. It's the snipe that's the problem, especially now that he's gonna knock something out. That's good though. So I suppose he goes for the sand shrew. That's, this is fine. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna judge. Hmm. Let's see. If I booklet hill for Pufu Muku and then shrine. <coughs> and then this sand slash and then slush wash. Um, so this one here, switch into, well no, I'm not going to use that switch because this Pukamuku is going to get knocked out anyway, so just manually retreat, and then teleportation burst for 20. So then if he flying flips, he knock he puts Coco to damn it, unless he for ninjas. If he for ninjas this Puku Muku. So I'm pretty sure it's only attacks. That'd be yeah. Damn him. He knows how to play around Puku Muku. Let's put up this one just in case he, uh, I don't know, retreats into that glacier. Hmm. As things stand, we're in a bit of trouble. Mainly because spread just, you know, destroys us. I'm gonna slush rush for one first. No, that was that was a terrible idea. I should have uh, not done that. Crushing hammer. No, never mind. Bench. DC two. Hmm. Screw it. Well, let's see. So, spike armor for 30 puts him on 70, which means if he flying flips, yeah, let's retreat into this sand slash and spike armor for 30. And if he flying flips, he knocks out his own cocoa. And doesn't knock out anything, any of ours. So it's uh, the oxys pretty close. To be fair, if ah, there we go. Probably go for the old 90 30 snipe and take two prizes. That's pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. He's on 90. Let's promote this sand slash. We are in a lot of trouble, but that's to be expected, I suppose. It's enhanced hammer.
that one. Slush rush for one. Bench to sand shrew. Attach and smash turn into Pukumuku. So again, Frost Bullet knocks out Pukumuku, but also knocks out Glaceon. But also, we've lost, I'm pretty sure. No matter what. Yeah, damn it. It's just going to evolve into Greninja and knock out the Pukumuku that way. What a snake. What a snake. So really, I mean, like we said, spread just destroys Pukumuku. Of course, I'd say that and then play a spread deck. But it's a it's a fun deck to play, to be fair. And like, no one knows what it does. But it is relatively easy to play around. Most of the time. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's uh, when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it really doesn't. But it's good fun. All right then, I see how it is. Ah, there we go. Well, oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, it works too. Could have gone for any of these, to be fair. Right, well, that was uh, the Pukumuku list that I played in a cup over the weekend. Um, and, yeah, it started the video was the Metagross list that I used to get top 64 at the Lille, uh, Lille special. So this time I promise it's the last Pukumuku video I'm going to do. Unless I do really well with it at some other thing, which is highly unlikely. But I hope you enjoyed our adventures with Pukumuku. And uh, I might not be streaming on Thursday again, but I'm not sure, so I'll let you know in the in the Wednesday video what the story is with that. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, as I said, our journey with Pukumuku, and I'll see you on Wednesday.